Alright, in the last video we proved that for any three objects just floating in space, no matter what they look like or where they are, there always exists a plane that simultaneously cuts them all in half. And we had a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, not really, but I got so many comments all saying something along the lines of, this is easy because every object has a center of mass or centroid or center of volume, everyone used one of those terms, where any plane through that point cuts the object in half and sends three points to find a plane, then you just need that point for each object and boom, you have a plane that cuts them all in half. So they were saying that any 3D object has some point where any plane that goes through it cuts the object in half. And then for the 2D case, any line through this point would cut the object in half. And I was surprised how much I was getting this because like, I wasn't sure at first, I, I didn't know, but for one, it didn't seem true. And two, I feel like I would have heard this at some point, like if the center of mass had this property, I feel like I would have seen that. But I looked into it and not the case. Now, it is true for obviously like a circle, that center of mass has a property where any line through it cuts the object in half. And the same can be said for a square. So I thought, okay, maybe it's true for all these objects with obvious symmetry, but not even the case, because this property does not exist for even an equilateral triangle. Here, I'm gonna go through this fairly quickly, but let's say the side lengths are each two, just because I think that makes the numbers a little nicer. That means the height of the triangle would be root three, and thus the area of the entire thing would also be root three. Now the centroid or center of mass of a triangle is where the three medians intersect, the lines that start at a vertex and cut the opposite side in half. So here's our center of mass. And you'll notice right now there are three lines which each individually cut the triangle in half. So this is our only point of interest. But the comments from the last video were saying that any line through this point cuts the triangle in half. But that is not the case. Take a horizontal line, for example. Let me bring back the height line segment because we need to note that the part of that height below the purple line has a length of root three over three. To see that, just draw this median and realize this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle with a base of one. So simple trig will get you a height of root three over three. And remember, the original height was simply root three. Thus, the top part has a length of two root three over three two-thirds of that height. Then because this is also a 30, 60, 90 triangle, we know this base here is two-thirds. As a shortcut, just realize if you take the middle side length and divide by root three, you get the shortest. But with that, we can find the area of this upper piece is four root three over nine. And this means the bottom piece must have an area of five root three over nine, since the total must be root three. So the answer is no. It is not true that any line through the center of mass or centroid cuts the object in half. In fact, for this triangle, there is no such point anywhere in which any line through it will cut the triangle in half. And for those who are curious, you'll notice the current line slash center of mass is two thirds of the way down the height line segment. In order for a horizontal line to cut the triangle in half, we have to go one over root two of the way down the height. That felt weird to say, but as a decimal, that's roughly 0 0.707 versus 0 0.666. So there we go. This property doesn't even hold for an equilateral triangle. So no, we cannot just assume that every shape has some magical point where any plane through it cuts it in half. So that would not be a legitimate proof for the last video. And I was getting some comments in the last video saying how that property also does not hold for a tetrahedron. I didn't do the math, but not all planes through that center of mass cut in half either. And I believe the same thing could be said about a pyramid. Probably the horizontal plane probably wouldn't cut in half, but I did not check that. So I think that's about it for this video. Uh, no sponsor, so I will take this time to show you some new stuff on the STEM merch store like this ooh, Serpinski Pyramid, 3D printed. This is one of my favorite little desk toys here. We have many of them uh, of different, different gradients, by the way. If you do order one, you will get a random gradient, but they all look very similar.
So we got these. Um, we also have a new watch variant, the uh, engineering watch. Uh, there's now a new one that is on pre-sale, so it's cheaper than the others. So if you did want to watch, didn't want to pay quite as much as the other ones were, there is another option for you. And then the last thing to mention is that Yens, aka Flammable Math, made another STEM merch store, stemmerch.eu, where there are some different products over there, some cool handmade designs. So if you're in the EU, then definitely go check that out as well. Links for everything will be down below. Then thanks as always to my supporters on Patreon. Social media links to follow me are down below, and I'll see you all in the next video.